What's going on, everybody? Narakius here over here at Narakius Gaming, and today I got some special division video for you guys. All right, before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's get right into it, guys. I got some special news for you guys today, and if you guys didn't wasn't aware of this news, I'm gonna break it to you firsthand. Tonight we already knew we was getting a patch, but you guys probably don't know exactly what the patch is consist of, and it is something on the patch note that caught my eye. We are actually going to be getting a damage modification, all right? Like kind of like a a damage buff, all right? Basically, we are be going we are going to be getting a 20% damage increase in your in your regular bullets, all right? In your in your modification, your weapon damage. You're going to be getting 20% more damage increase. And that is a way to help with all these guys running all these super build with all these high toughness, high skill power build and taking advantage of like the smart cover. And I'm extremely happy about that, all right? Now, you guys know I used to post videos probably a couple months back if you guys go check some of my old stuff out where I would post videos of me and my crew just wrecking the dark zone. And there is a lot of YouTubers out there that just wreck the dark zone. And they PvP just as much as I PvP. You know, like Butter does it. Everybody knows him. He's like, he calls himself the PvP king. And you know, he has the right to. I'm not going against that. You know, he's really good at it and I watch his stream all the time. So, you know, major kudos to like Butter. I do like what he does. But at the same time, with me being the same kind of guy that he is, I love PvPing and it's just very very annoying when the fights are just so long and it just drags and nobody's dying and then you get killed by an ad i love when it used to be the 1.1 days and you can just 4v1 an entire group and that one person in that 1v4 i meant to say not 4v1 but the 1v4 you would just melt all four people and it would just crush their little hearts and you can hear them just raging on the mic and it would be so funny and they would just go ranting and they just keep coming back coming back. before you know it you're on manhunt and next thing you know you have 12 maybe more the entire server is just trying to gun you down and it was just so fun because it's like damn this one person is killing the entire server and i miss those days you know what i mean i miss when you can go on like on two man manhunt and i'm not saying it's impossible to do it now but with all the new gear sets like reclaimer which the ps4 we still haven't gotten yet and all these other new gear sets but for the pc and xbox players who do have it they can understand where i'm coming from you have stuff like the reclaimer you have stuff like firecrest that's giving you six more fire bullets and the reclaimer is just like infinite fire bullets and then you got everybody just sticky bombing the hell out of anything and everything that's moving in the dark zone it's just it changed the whole entire lot from the 1.1 well in tonight's patch, I feel like 1.1 is coming back. They're bringing them back with that 20% damage increase. All right. Now, I know you solo players been having some of the worst time in the dark zone. All right. You basically, you can't go get any gear because the ads could kill you. You can't go get any gear because players will kill you. You can't extract because groups of players will kill you and the ads will kill the groups of players that killed you. So at the end of the day, you're just at the shitty end of the stick. But for some of you guys who want a PS4, there's still hope for you guys. There's one thing that you guys haven't gotten yet that PC and Xbox already gotten, and that's the underground. The underground is like the final vendetta, I want to say, for solo players, okay? If you guys didn't watch the state of the game that was recently posted on my channel, basically Hamish and, and the other dev, I forgot his name, no disrespect to that, they basically go on to say like, you know, that was like the last giveaway for solo players. Anything else after this and everything after this is basically going to be based on PvP. Because if you think about it, everything that's been released up to this point, it's been PvE and all about solo players. You see what I mean? Like, even if you look at the gear sets, a lot of these gear sets support PvE. And you we, we find ways, that, ways to make them PvP. We may have one or two that's kind of like for PvP. But majority of the time, they're for PvE and in solo players. Solo players have actually two standalone gear sets that, that, that are just basically for solo players. You have the Nomad that they said that was for solo players, right? And then you also have, um, what's the other gear set I can't think off the top of my head? Um, Alpha Bridge. Alpha Bridge is actually another solo player build. So basically, solo players, you guys been getting all the good stuff and that's about to come to an end. Here on out from survival and on up and all the DLCs coming up next is going to be straight PVP. The Dark Zone will be getting an increase 
and I'm not saying that that's something that I know for 100% sure, but there's been too many clues and is in the game. They, you know, they did say they're going to increase the dark zone. They just don't know when they don't have a time zone on it, but all of that stuff is going to get increased. But the modification of the 20% more damage that we are going to be dealing is going to change. So when you guys wake up this morning, because I'm doing this video actually like at 530 in the morning, <laughs> all right? When you guys wake up and you turn on your PS4s and your Xbox and your PCs, whatever console, whatever system you guys are playing on, you guys are going to see a difference. Let me know if you see a difference because I'm definitely going to go in the dark zone and see if this 20% makes a difference because I missed the 1.1 dates and I feel like it's coming back. And I feel like I can go back on the tear that I used to go back in the day. A, a while ago and a lot of you guys could probably understand and feel where I'm coming from right especially you guys who used to do solo man hunts all right and I remember the time where you can just kill a group run away and then two more groups you wreck all eight and then you run away run into another like little two long wolves I think they could take you you wreck them before you know it it's 10 to 15 people on your ass and you're just running for your life and you're turning around just melting them one by one one by one then you get down to like the last two and you die by the most craziest ways probably sometimes probably not even a player that kills you is that your life was low and you're in the wrong area of the dark zone and a shotgun just come and hit you from like two blocks away and you die you know what i mean so i miss those days and i feel like those days are coming back and yes they're going to be adding 20 percent more damage on to your base weapon of your damage of your gun so I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you guys can go check it out for yourself. Now, we all thought that they were going to be doing PvP armor penetration where, you know, the armor penetration goes towards players. And I still feel like that's going to be something they're going to add later on to the game. But they probably want to put this 20% into the game to see how this changes. If this does the trick, then I don't think they're going to add that any um that um player penetration anymore the enemy armor penetration because if this does the trick and it balance everything out with all the tank titians and all these super juggernaut characters that everybody's building then they're not going to add that into the game there won't be no need to add that to the game they're just going to be more weapons that i could ask for better weapons you know what i mean but um for, uh further than that there's no need for it so you guys let me know in the comments below how do you guys feel about this patch that is coming on tonight? All right. It's happening tonight, not tomorrow, tonight, Thursday. All right. And uh, let me know your thoughts about it when you test it out. Come back. Leave a comment. Let me know if you see any difference in the dark zone or do you feel like you hit a lot harder? Okay. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. I got some more videos coming your way and got some big things in the making that I can't speak of as of right now. But I truly appreciate it if you just hit a like on the videos. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And it's your boy Narakius, and I'm going to see you when I see you. Peace.